Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to search for classes to come prepared for your spring registration appointment with your advisor. The first thing is you're going to go to your Okta login, and then you're going to get signed in to your Okta account. Once signed in, you're going to go ahead and go into your self-service portal. Once in self-service, you're going to go into your student planning menu. In student planning, you're going to go to your plan and schedule option. And from there, you're going to go to your timeline tab to look at what is planned on your timeline. Your advisor has gone in and looked at your timeline and made class suggestions for the spring 2025 semester. Starting there, you're gonna start picking out classes of what you would like to take. In this example, Sammy Spartan is a business administration major. We can see his courses that are planned for the spring 25 semester. You can see other classes upcoming Keep in mind some classes you could potentially switch, switch around. So say instead of taking your artistic in the spring, you wanted to take your scientific inquiry, you could just move that over and change them. And then when you're searching, you can search for the science class instead of the artistic literacy. Going back to what was already planned out by the advisor, we're gonna start picking classes for Sammy for the spring semester. There's a couple ways to do this. Um, first is going to be going to your schedule tab. So if you go to schedule and you're under the 25 spring semester, if you're under fall, just go ahead and click on the little right arrow. It'll bring you to the spring. For specific classes that are planned here, you can look at the available sections. So starting with Intro to Academic Writing, since Sammy did not take English in the fall of his first year, he will take it in the spring. When you click View Sections, you're going to see all of the sections available. So right now it's showing two sections. One is Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 8. One is Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 1.15. Obviously, you can change these depending on where your other classes are that you're still going to pick. Um, but for now, Sammy has decided to pick the 8 a.m. section. So we're going to click on the section. It's going to bring a details box up, and then you're going to click Add Section. That class is now planned on his schedule, and you can see it on the calendar view. Next course would be Foundations of Management. You can see there is one section available. It's Tuesday, Thursday at 10. That time works with Sammy's schedule. He would like to take this class. We're going to click on it, click Add Section, and it went ahead and planned that section as well. To finish his schedule, he wants to be in 16 credits or four classes for the spring. So he wants to add two more that are planned so that he can review them when he meet with, meets with his advisor. The first is math. So this specific math option is added because of him being a business major. So it's showing that he needs to pick either math 1030, which is dealing with data, or math 1100, which is college algebra. Okay. To search these, what you're going to do is if you go into the search bar, we're going to type it in. So sometimes when you're searching classes, it might not um, show the options if you click on it. So like I just clicked on it, there's no search catalog just because of the way this plate folder is built. So say he's interested in the first one, Math 1030. We're going to go ahead and type it in. Hit enter. Over to the light, to the um, left. You can filter by location and semester. So we're going to do Aurora Main Campus, 25 Spring, open sections only. You can also filter by, and then he can see what there is. So for dealing with data, there is a Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 920. So I'm going to go ahead and add that. 
If you wanted to look at college algebra as well, just to kind of see when that one's running, you would just type in that course number. So Math 1100, Open Sections, Aurora Main Campus, Spring Semester, click View Available Sections. So there's a few for college algebra. So um, we're gonna go ahead and just pick one depending on when he would like to, to take it. So um, noon, we're gonna put for right now. So he's contemplating taking this one at noon. So we're gonna click on add section, add section again, and then it was planned. Going back into his plan, we go into the homepage, student planning, plan and schedule, and then we're at the spring semester. Okay. So um, as he's looking at this, you can kind of see we're dealing with data would fall if you ended up picking up this for math or the college algebra one he selected. He has decided he wants to take college algebra at noon. So we're gonna go ahead and just remove the dealing with data over here. So I'm gonna X out, click remove, and it is going to be removed, okay? Um, last course that he is going to look at is going to be his artistic literacy. So for these classes, the artistic literacy, cultural literacy, scientific inquiry, human inquiry, those you can search by clicking on the title. So whether you click on the title here from your timeline or on your schedule, we'll click on that title. You'll then select search catalog. And that'll pull up the options. So again, on the left, you want to do some filters. So we're going to do open sections, Aurora Main Campus, 25 Spring. And we're going to look at all of those options. So first is intro to museum studies. Looks like there's a section of that at noon. He does have college algebra right now at noon. Intro to drawing. That one has a couple sections. Design for the stage, art and power, and art and philosophy. Okay. So after reviewing the different options, um, in this case, Sammy has decided to take the art and philosophy course, Tuesday, Thursday, 315. So he's going to go ahead and add this one. You might have an option to go back and plan and schedule right here on the left. If you click on that, that'll also bring you back to your schedule. And then he can review those four classes that he's picked. So he can see his English is Monday, Wednesday, Friday, eight. Foundations of Management is at 10. Algebra is at noon. And then Tuesday, Thursday, he has um, his 315 of um, Art and Philosophy. So say Sammy was happy with all of these, so all of them are planned. You can check to make sure you planned the actual sections of the classes based on the credits listed here. So this should list the amount of credits you are looking to take in the spring semester. They're all queued up so that when you meet with your advisor, they will go over these courses with you and make sure that you're still um, happy with your selection and then they will help you register. One final note, if you are looking for electives, so some of you might have a placeholder um, option in your spring semester, a placeholder is an elective course of your choosing, okay? So that's any class that you have the prereqs to take. So to search those, um, very similar to like searching um, some of these placeholders that you can't search, so like the math, if you click on it, it's not gonna give you a search option. So placeholders or electives, you need to search by the catalog, okay? So for example, if you go into your homepage, go into course catalog, select the 25 spring semester. If you had certain subjects you were interested in, you can filter and pick whatever subjects you would like in these sections here. So for example, I'll just pick business, communication, criminal justice, okay? 
Down here, you have some more filter options. If you wanted to filter by specific days of week, you could do that right here. Location, you will want to put on as Aurora Main Campus. Academic level is a good one to put on when you're looking at electives. You're going to pick undergraduate. And then down here, if you did want to stipulate the certain time of day um, for the class starting and ending, you can do so here. And then you would hit search. Okay. Over on the left, you can still filter by open sections for these electives. And then it's gonna give you all the results for that criteria. Okay, so um, for electives, it has to be a class you have prereqs for. In order to see the prereqs for a class, if Sammy was interested in public speaking, you would click on the course number and it would tell you if there was any requisite or prerequisite courses. So this one has none. So if Sammy's looking for an elective and he sees public speaking and the time works with his schedule, he can go ahead and add that one and then add section again, okay? Keep in mind, most of you will be looking at electives or classes that are 1,000 or 2,000 level. Classes that are 3,000 level, you cannot take until you have a minimum of 30 credit hours earned. Okay, so that's how you can search electives. It's really just going through the list that you filtered and seeing if there's any prereqs and if it's something you can take um, and then adding those from there. Okay, as a recap, you would go back into your homepage, student planning, plan and schedule, you can see your timeline view has updated with these sections that you picked, so the planned sections. And then on your schedule tab, you can also see those classes that you have um, ready to go for when you meet with your advisor. Um, so this is what you want to bring with to your spring registration appointment. You want to have specific sections of classes planned out in your self-service account. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to your advisor and they would be happy to answer those as well.